Hey guys, Jen here from Main and Suds and Such MB Scented. I am making pear and pomegranate for a custom order. And I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride. So I'm doing the heat transfer method. This is very, very, very hot lye water. Just mixed, still steaming. These are only my hard oils for my recipe. And I'm going to use them, use this hot water to melt them. Generally takes just a few minutes. Once it gets down to where the majority of the big clumps are gone, I run my stick blender and get the rest of the little chunks. As you can see, it melts fairly quickly. And then I have my liquid oils back here in this container with the kale and clay and colloidal oatmeal. And then I have my cream, which today I'm using coconut milk, and then my fragrance. Let's see. Yeah, I've been a minute and 30, 40 seconds. And the majority of these are about melted. Takes two or three minutes, I'd say. Now I have heard people say they have difficulty soaping this way, that um, they can't get it to melt. Um, don't let your lye water cool down. Mix it up as soon as everything is completely mixed. Um, pour it in. You know, you don't have to wait for it to be super clear or anything like that. You just need to make sure there's no lye crystals in the bottom. So, and then uh, don't you don't put your liquid oils in here. Just slows down the process. So as you can see, majority of it is gone. I've made another batch. So we're just gonna grab them with the stick blender, push them down, give them a jizz, just like so. And just like that, pretty much completely mixed. Now I'm going to use my stick blender and buzz up the oatmeal and the clay that's in the bottom. Just helps it to be mixed really well before you add it into your other oils. These bowls that I'm using, the big one, the white one, I got from Dollar General. They're, I think, $2 very reasonable. They're very, very sturdy. Much more sturdier than the ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. These ones are much stronger. And also, I love that there's no lip right here. I'll actually show you. This is the one you get at Dollar Tree. As you can see, it has the soap can easily come up out of here much better sturdy this one you can see how flimsy this one is that one is not as flimsy <clears throat> okay onward um, everybody's asked me about my stick blender too I love it I love it. So I would call that emulsification. We'll add in our cream. Now this is cream that I've reconstituted from powder. Alright, 
Oh, there's something black right there. Where did it go? I don't know. Maybe it shall resurface as I'm mixing. My guess is it's a little piece of soap from a previous batch that got down in the stick blender. That's why you never ever ever want to use your stick blender for anything other than soaping. Now, oh right there it is. Um, this fragrance does accelerate. Right there is the little black piece. Got it. I don't know what it was, but I got it. Okay, this fragrance does accelerate, so I'm going to pour off my colors before we add fragrance. We're going to do fragrance. And then I can't remember if it rices, it may. And if so, we'll stick blend it really quick and then pour it in the mold. Speaking of which, let me get a mold over here. I'm not going anywhere, girl. So, all right, I'm gonna do three colors. just mixed up my white before I started soaping. Now, I didn't even get my colors out. Am I not terrible? I'm terrible. But you know what? It's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is because I've got to stick blend the colors in. Let's do it like this. I don't see any racing. done the orangey color first but that's okay okay so far so good swirl in forever so I may do that since it's behaving nicely for the moment I don't know those two colors are kind of similar other than this one is darker I don't want them really muddled I have an idea. Mm -hmm. 
make sure you guys can see. Now I poured in the lighter color for the in the pot swirl. I'm going to do a drop swirl of the darker color. Perfect. I just hear everything banging around inside there. Fragrance behaved much better this go round. I think mainly because I was expecting it and waited to add the fragrance before, you know, didn't add it just right in and start stick blending. I was prepared this time. Because last time, oh my goodness, it was. A terrible mess. Much better this time. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We did. Kids are playing. Hubby is playing a video game. Doggy is asleep. The cats are who knows where. You know, cats can care less what you're doing. Or at least mine. Okay. Now I'm going to use. and swirl the top and then we'll add some glitter on and call this one done you chemist I'm gonna have to find it. I'm not gonna use a lot of this because it's not like the clear. All right, guys, catch you for the cutting. Hey guys, I'm going to cut Open. the pear and pomegranate. Ugh. The top is really, really pretty. It's still kind of soft. So I'm trying to be delicate. as I work with it. Now that one color is really lightened up a lot. Hey mama. Hmm? Austin will win in his room. Well, the orangey color has really lightened up. I like it. 
because they were really, really similar in color. Mommy, make her stop biting my bike. That turned out really nice. Mommy, she's biting my bike. I think that quit. So we've got the in the pot swirl with the orange color and then the white and then um, the drop swirl of the darker color, more of the pomegranate color. Is Goofy riding with you? No. No, I thought you said there you go, Goofy. I said there we go from Kevin. His whole body and his whole face covered up. Oh. See, now quit. I'm going around the circles of Fina. There's nothing to be worried of. Nothing to be worried of. <laughs> can you make your stuff so I can do my stuff? Oh, this stuff smells so good. <sighs> to get her because I'm cutting soap. You have to get off your bike. Alright guys, we'll catch you on the next video.